Hello friends, welcome back to Infinite Mind Feng Shui. Is Feng Shui working for you? Are you concerned that the Feng Shui techniques you adopted so far is not giving the desired results? In one of my previous shots, I briefly spoke about this. As this has become a growing concern in the Feng Shui community, I thought of creating a new video on this and share more details with you. In this video, I will be sharing the top three reasons why Feng Shui may not be working for you. Please stay tuned. If you are interested to understand classical Feng Shui from the perspective of science, or if you want to adopt Feng Shui to improve the overall quality of life by living in harmony with nature, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Infinite Mind Feng Shui. Don't forget to press the bell icon below so that you get instant notification whenever I post new video in my channel. I post regular videos on Feng Shui tips and lessons. If you find the content useful and interesting, do like and share my videos and post comments below. This will really motivate me to create more and more free contents for you. Having a positive mindset is the cornerstone to successful Feng Shui. If we always keep complaining about our current situation and continue to think negatively, then irrespective of whatever Feng Shui technique we adopted so far, it is most likely that they are not going to work for us. Let me take a couple of examples from my own life. Going back to my college days, after getting admission to one of the premier institutes for science and technology, I continue to hear complaints from my friends. The faculty are not good, the professors are not taking care for their students. The library facility is not modern. There is not enough focus for the on-campus placement. So lots of complaints. In my professional career, I have worked for three to four engineering and tech companies so far, including my current employer in the United Kingdom. However, I continue to hear the same type of complaints from my colleagues. The organizations are not good. The internal processes are not good. Even if there are internal processes, employees do not follow them. The year-end performance bonus and the pay hike, they are not good. So lots of complaints. One thing we always keep forgetting, there must be something good about these organizations and institutions. And that is the very reason why we tried to get into them in the first place. If we continue to think negatively and we overlook all our achievements so far, then the positive chi from the universe is not going to come and help us. One thing we need to keep in mind, the positive chi from the universe always gets attracted to those who think positively. Therefore, the first thing to make the feng shui work is to change our mindset and think positively. If your feng shui is not working, then it means that it is being applied in the incorrect place first. One of the very common mistakes we tend to do is that we apply feng shui inside our house first and we completely overlook what is happening outside our house. Feng shui is all about the qi movement and all the vibrant, healthy and nourishing qi come inside our house from the surrounding landscape, from the surrounding nature. The presence of mountain, hill, valley and river, they decide the qi movement in the surrounding landscape. In the modern city and the urban context, the presence of tall trees, other buildings, other structures, high fences and walls, and the road structure in front of our house, they decide the chi movement. Therefore, before applying feng shui inside your house, come out of your house and see what is happening outside your house. Take a closer look at the inclination of the terrain on which your house is built. Presence of uphill slope or upward slope in front of your house represents uphill struggle, blockage in career progression. Presence of downward slope or downhill slope in the rear of your house represents money being spent very fast as soon as they come in. It will be very challenging to accumulate wealth in such a house. Standing at your front door, looking in the outward direction, all the structure to the left of your house represents the green dragon and the young chief of the house. This supports all the male member in the family. Likewise, all the structure to the right side of your house represents the white tiger 
and the in chief of the house. This support all the female members in the family. If there is no structure, no buildings, no tall trees to the left of your house, then all the male members in your family suffer from insecurity and long-term health issues. Likewise, if there is no structure to the right of your house, then all the female members in your family suffer from insecurity and long-term issues. If the height of the structure to the right of your house is much higher than that of the left of your house, then this represents in young imbalance. And this means female dominance in your family. Watch out for any chi blockage or presence of sha chi in front of your house. Is there any tall tree or flagpole or tall electric lamppost in front of your house? Is there any construction work going on? Or do you have any high voltage transformer in front of your house? All these represent sha chi or the chi blockage. If you are interested to understand how to identify the presence of sha chi in front of your house and how to correct them, you may use the link above and watch one of my past videos. So the second most important reason why your feng shui may not be working is because you are applying feng shui only inside your house and completely overlooking what is happening outside your house. As feng shui has evolved over thousands of years, there are hundreds of schools in feng shui. Broadly speaking, we can classify those schools into two groups, the classical feng shui and the modern day feng shui. The classical feng shui has been practiced over thousands of years ago. The modern day feng shui, which is also known as the black hat or BTB feng shui, has been established in 1986 in California in the United States by Master Thomas Linian. Subsequently, in 1990s, other new age feng shui schools have also been established. All these modern feng shui schools have greatly simplified the complex and ancient feng shui principles. Therefore, this great simplification have made these schools completely incompatible with each other. For example, as per classical feng shui, each individual house has its unique energy map and this is decided by the front facing direction and the year of build completion for the building. On the contrary, as per the modern feng shui or the BTB feng shui, the energy map is same for all the buildings. It is only decided by the location of the front door. The modern version of feng shui does not take into consideration the effect of space and time on the chi dynamics. As all the planets in the solar system are constantly rotating around the sun, Therefore, the energy around us is constantly changing. What we need to do, we need to take into consideration the negative annual chi and its location in our house. For example, in 2021, the southeast sector of our house is associated with the worst negative annual energy. And if you have done any digging work or construction work, or if you are lighting the candles in the southeast sector of your house, then you might have unfortunately triggered the worst negative annual energy. This might have caused accidents, misfortune or illness for your family members. Therefore, it is vitally important to understand all the negative annual energy location in our house, namely the five yellow star, the two black star and the seven red star in our house and take appropriate measure or apply protective feng shui to safeguard your family members. So the last and most important reason why your feng shui may not be working for you is because mix and match between classical and the modern day feng shui techniques and lack of consideration of annual energy change. With this, let me end this video. I hope you found the content interesting and useful. Please don't forget to like and share my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Infinite Mind Function. Please take care, stay safe, bye.